Tortomerism. What is tortomerism? Key to in all, tortomerism is one of the most common, you know, examples of the tortomerism. Let me explain this concept with an example of an acetone. Here we got an acetone with a CO and CH3 and CH3 here. If you look at this molecule, in this molecule, the hydrogen from this particular carbon can shift to the oxygen and this double bond can shift here. That means you will get another structure like this, CH3, COH, and now you got a double bond between these two carbons, so this is the CH2. This is a keto form because you got a C double bond O group here. And this will be called as enolic form, right? This is an enol. You know, when you have a carbon-carbon double bond and on the same carbon, you have an OH group also. This is an enol form. And again, you know, this hydrogen can go back to this position and, you know, the double bond will shift here. So you get it back, right? So mostly in this, you know, uh, a ketone form, the process is going on, right? Uh, and they, are, they get interconverted. The keto form goes to the enol and enol form goes to the you know this uh, keto form back right this process is going on continuously and so that's why we always have an equilibrium you know uh, mixture like this but always this keto form is much more stable than the enolic form that's why most of the compound here will be in the form of keto rather than the enol right a tautomerism is a special form of a functional isomer right so this is a special form of a functional isomerism because you can see here we got a ketone group, keto group here. This is a functional group, and here you got an enol, right? So in in this tautomerism, substance exists in two readily interconvertible structures, right? So they get interconverted into each other, and these structures are in dynamic equilibrium with each other. So there is an equilibrium. Keto form goes to enol, and enol form goes to keto form. This is an equilibrium system. So tautomerism is what is the special form of a functional isomerism where there is an equilibrium between the two, you know, uh, uh, groups uh, between the two functional uh, isomers of uh, of a compound. The interconvertible structures are called as tautomers. So this uh, keto and the enol form these are the tautomers, right? And the chemical reaction by which you know this uh, interconversion is going on is called as tautomerization. For the keto enol tautomerism, we have the requirement of certain conditions, right? This keto enol form tautomerism is only possible when you know you find two important conditions there. Number one is that there is a alpha hydrogen atom, right? This is a carbonyl group, and this is the alpha carbon here, and the hydrogen attached to this one is called as an alpha hydrogen. So this is an alpha hydrogen here. There should be an alpha hydrogen. And the second point is the alpha hydrogen must be present on the sp2 hybridized carbon. So this carbon over here is sp2 hybridized. So the two conditions fulfill here. That's why the hydrogen can shift from this carbon, goes to this one, and it forms the enolic form. And in enolic form, this hydrogen goes back here, and this double bond goes here. You get the keto form back. Let's now take some more examples of the keto enol tautomerism. We have a cyclic molecule here with the C double bond O. This is a cyclohexanone. Here you can see we have a carbon that is attached with that has two hydrogen atoms. Alpha carbon has two hydrogen atoms, and this is sp2 hybridized. And now what will happen? The hydrogen can shift from this carbon to the oxygen over here. And this double bond will then shift inside here. Then you get a cyclic ring with a double bond over here. And you get an OH group at this position. All right. This is called as a cyclohex one in one all. All right. And now again, this molecule will go back here. And the double bond will shift here that means you get the first one back all right since you know this is more stable this one is more stable so the reaction mixture will be 
you know, uh, higher, more, uh, more it will be uh, in this form rather than this one, enolic form. Huh? Enolic form here is less stable. So almost 99% of this compound will be in the form of keto form and about 1% actually here is in the enolic form. Here in this molecule, again you got a carbonyl group and then you can see you, got, you, have, you have got the two carbonyl groups and this uh, hydrogen, alpha hydrogen over here, it can shift to this uh, oxygen and then you can have a enolic form like this COH and a double bond here CH, C double bond O and the CH3 over here. Why this, you know, central carbon only, you know, if you have a hydrogen here also, because this carbon is more acidic, right? It has a pull from the two cardinal groups, right? So that's why, you know, this hydrogen, which is, be, which is actually more acidic, it will shift to the oxygen here and you will have a double bond over here. Correct. This is the keto form and this is an enolic form. Another molecule, let me take here is the benzene attached with the C double bond O and the CH3 over here. You can see again one of the hydrogen from the alpha carbons will shift to this position and then what do you get? You will get a benzene, then COH double bond CH2.